Hey, what's going on, YouTube Nation? Hey, this is another episode of the Real Life Situations with Uncle T. And I am here and back again because, um, let me get my mic fixed here. And I am back again. Um, I'm sorry, I've been out of action. Um, had a lot going on um, here lately, taking care of, um, you know, going back and forth up the road here, taking care of my mother, taking care of my wife, uh, working long hours at work, um, dealing with so much uh, things that that go on uh, in life that, you know, a, a husband and a father has to take care of. But I like to thank all my subscribers and all my new subscribers. Thank you for your support. That means so much to me. I mean, it just means so much that, that whenever I put out content, you say, hey, I like that. Uh, you know, that was right on point. I really needed that right now. And uh, I like to thank all your everyone out there for your support. And I just wanted to talk about <clears throat> today uh, for as a prayer, uh, prayer for just encouragement and strength. I mean, there are so many people out there right now going through so much. And, you know, it was uh, prophesied that this year was going to be a year of exposure. People were going to be leaving this year, your loved ones that you had not even thought about that we're going to be leaving this year and a lot of people uh what we're going to be going through a lot of different things and it was just kind of laid on my heart to talk to someone about prayers that people are going through things right now and they need prayer not only do you need to pray for people uh in this situation here god led me to just put out different subjects and just pray because um, right after this video I'll probably have one every day for the end you know pretty much a prayer for every day to the end of the month and uh, if you would just tune in subscribe hit that notification bell you'll be notified when I do send another prayer out and uh, and I just want to pray for your uh, for you who are going through stuff and uh, need some encouragement because I've been there so many times in my life. Have you ever just go through so much and you need to talk to somebody, but you have no one to talk to? You have no one you can trust. You have no one you can share your heart with and just just cry out and say, you know, this is how I feel. Um, that is it's it's a terrible place to be. It's you feel alone. You feel lonely. And even sometime, you know, you feel so vulnerable uh, in these times that we go through. We've been through some tough times uh, here in the last couple of years for as economy wise, you know, COVID and so many things. But even in our own personal lives, we go through things with our families, um, marriages, relationships. We go through so much and we just need strength and we need prayer and we just need somebody sometime to say, hey, you're going to make it. You're going to be all right. I know you're going through a tough time right now, but you're going to be okay. Let me read this prayer. Let me read this scripture, and then we're going to pray. Isaiah 41 and 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is saying, hey, I hear you. I got you. Don't be, fr don't be afraid. Don't be dismayed. I'm right there. And a lot of time, God wants us to speak out. He wants us to get on our hands and knees. You know, if you're in a place where you can't get on your hands and knees, sometimes if you're riding in your car, riding down the road, just have a conversation. You and the Holy Spirit just sitting in your car, just having a conversation, you know, and let, let the Holy Spirit uh, minister to your heart and uh, guide your footsteps and tell you which way to go and what to do. Sometimes God will lead people in your life and will t bring up a conversation and God will give you the answer that you was looking for. And you didn't even, and you realize, you're like, oh my God, you know what? I was just thinking about that. And then here you come talking about it, you know? And uh, sometime in life, we go through stuff. And there are some things we just can't talk about. Some things are just so hard and it hits you so hard that you can't talk. It's just like it takes the wind out of you that you, 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 you can't speak to nobody about it. Sometimes we embarrass the talk to somebody about it you know but uh this but you know this evening i just want to pray this little simple prayer for encouragement heavenly father <clears throat> 
Heavenly Father, I know that sometimes we get weary. Lord, our energy is sagging. Our motivation is lagging. Uh, Lord, we are so needed in your need of your power, Lord. I need your strength and your fresh touch to get back on track again. The Lord, or the, the joy of the Lord is my strength, Lord. Lord, help me not to quit. Lord, keep me running this race faithfully and find strength in the safe, secret place. Lord, help me to find that secret place that I need to be. Lord, help me find that place that I can get that quiet place to where you can meditate. And Lord, I can talk to you and you can talk to me and you can guide my steps. Lord, renew my strength, Lord. Fill me with your supernatural power to overcome obstacles in my path. In the name of the Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, Lord, amen. Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that everyone under the sound of my voice who just needed some encouragement, just needed a little encouragement to say, you know what? I can do this. I can. I, I, it's hard. It's hard. Let's just don't play with it. It's hard. It's hard when life comes up against you and life just takes place and things happen, you know, and, and, and you just like, man, I just, I'm just on the verge of giving up. I just want to throw in the towel and just say, I can't, I can't do this anymore. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, you can make it, you can do it. And when we get to the other side, we're going to celebrate together. You're going to send me an email. You're going to send, hey, Uncle T, I made it. I'm telling you, I was listening to that video you had. And man, I, I stayed in there. I hung in there. I started praying. I fasted. I started calling on the Lord. And guess what happened? This happened. That happened. And, and I just want to thank you. I just want to just thank you for God just giving me direction so that me and God can, can, can commune together. And he did it for me. That's, a, that's all I am. I'm just a vessel. I'm just a mailman. I'm just a vessel to tell you what you need to do and tell you what we're going to pray about and you take the ball and run with it. But I just pray that everybody under the sound of my voice, I, I pray that God gives you the encouragement and the strength that you need and, uh, and you stay prayed up and you just be a soldier and hold your head up. Don't put your head down and get depressed. You hold your head up. Don't don't walk around depressed. You know, let, let everybody know that my God is powerful. That's 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 such a powerful thing. When people think that you on your last leg and you still hold your head up and they think that oh you you done and then God comes along and then just boom, God gives you what you need and you cross over and God gives you that inspiration and God get that blessing. I mean you get that supernatural blessing. Oh, man, oh, it ain't nothing like it, man. It is nothing like it. And I'm telling you, you when, you, when you just, I don't care if you rewind this and you listen to it over and over and over again, because you're going to get that miracle that you're looking for. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord. Lord, I pray that everyone be healed right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I break depression. I come against anxiety right now. And I sow encouragement, I sow strength, and I sow the spirit of an overcomer in the name of Jesus Christ. Until we meet again, my friend, hey, Uncle T is out. You be safe.